Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to take a few minutes here and give a quick update on my second stem cell treatment and also hopefully clear um, some confusion that may have been caused by a couple of posts that I made a few months ago whenever the second stem cell treatment was called into question um, as to whether I would be getting it at all or not. First of all, I am happy to say that because of a few people that have reached out to me and especially one in particular, um, I had secured a ride to Clearwater and that has um, allowed me to go ahead and schedule my second stem cell treatment for October the 5th. I am so grateful for that. Words cannot say how grateful I am for that. Um, also, I want to make it known that um, as I did have a couple people um, come up to me after certain posts that I made um, about the treatment not being done, um, telling me to not let my pride get in the way. First of all, I want to make things clear. Pride was the furthest thing away from me almost walking away from this treatment altogether. Um, the main reason why I thought that I was going to have to walk away was because of safety. Because of a certain employee that will remain nameless. Um, there were several mistakes that could have been avoided and should have been avoided, um, but they were made and it called into question about how safe is this now? Because if the doctor does not have the correct information about me, I'm, I can't hide the fact that I have CP. There are certain things related to my CP or, you know, and other medical issues that I have that has made my anatomy slightly different than the average person. Um, and one of those things is that I have a steel rod in my back. Part of the stem cell procedure is to inject the stem cells into your back. If the doctor does not have the correct information about my rod, it can actually do the opposite of what it is intended to do. They could miss and I could be paralyzed. There goes everything. Everything that people have known that I am working for. My, I'm hoping to test for my black belt this year. In fact, in a couple of months, that could all go. Um, you know, or even something as simple as they do sedate you a little bit. I have had um, issues in the past where 
we found out the hard way that I am allergic to certain medications. And I almost died because of us finding out that I'm allergic to a certain medication. Um, so those two things alone I don't take lightly. And a lot of people may not get that, but until you've lived it, you don't know. Um, another thing is that because I was told, to begin with, the location could be here in Orlando. It makes transportation a little bit more easier. But then to find out that it's two hours away, a little over two hours away, that throws a major wrench into everything. Because I don't have a license. I have to rely on other people to help me get there. Um, and I don't have any family in the immediate area. So, it would have been slightly easier to plan things for whenever they would be here anyway. But now that we have to drive two hours away, it makes it harder. And an unfortunate fact, not only that um, I'm physically disabled, but just even being a female, um, if you, especially whenever you take the cost of what that kind of transportation would be like, um, yes, it may be somewhat easier for me to get over there to be with but coming back definitely is a whole different thing because again I'm going to be sedated and as good as I'm sure there are a lot of people out there um, it would be setting me up for major trouble um, being a sedated, being a female, being disabled. Um, I hate to say I've had drivers, male drivers that have hit on me when I am totally sober just because I said hi. Um, so that is setting the stage for something really bad to go wrong which is why I do not want to go anywhere with being sedated by myself. I need a person to be with me. Um, and I can't be honest with you, it hurt to the core whenever someone said to me, don't let your pride get in the way. You do not understand the agony that I have gone through. And having to walk away from something that I know has helped me already and that I was hoping could help me more. And again, it wasn't until this person stepped forward and also the doctor that was willing to give me a discount so that I wouldn't have to choose between my living situation right now, which unfortunately is an unhealthy one, and getting this treatment. Without that doctor, I would not be able to even think about getting this stem cell treatment at all. So for those two people especially, I'm eternally grateful.
Really, I am. Um, and I want this to be a positive thing. I'm just letting you all know the things that I was thinking about whenever I made this post and extremely how difficult this decision was at the time before you know and the doctor gave me that discount before this wonderful person came and said I will take you um, I, I cannot explain in the words how thankful I am. Um, but I just wanted to let people know that if those are the main reasons why I almost had to walk away from this. It was not an easy decision. It was not because of pride, it was because of safety. And I hope that no one else has to ever have that kind of issue because it sucks. It really does. But I'm hoping this video will help someone and will educate someone that before you assume certain things um, that you hear the whole story before you say something. Um, and again, I do want to end this on a positive note. Um, I am very blessed to be able to have this procedure done um, as soon as I am, but I also still need help in fundraising um, to help balance, even though it was a discount, to help me um, pay for it. So I will be attaching my um, GoFundMe to this video and I just hope that you help me or will help me reach my goal um, or get as close to it as possible and even just share this video because hopefully it will educate people that a lot of times it's again more to the story. You don't know what certain people are thinking about whenever they make decisions like this. Um, it is very hard. So um, I will probably do another video uh, more than likely after my treatment. Um, I don't know how soon after because I know people are going to think I'm absolutely crazy, but literally 20 days to the day after my procedure, I will be hopefully competing in a local Taekwondo tournament. And then about a week after that, the testing for my black belt. Um, we will see how that goes. I'm just hoping I can do it all and that um, I can stay in shape even while I'm trying to heal. Um, but again, um, I will keep you guys updated at a later date, okay? Um, you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.